being serious. You'll do it with that. You'll run out of that and then fucking sling it at some point. Run out of what? That drink. No, I'm telling you, there was a ted there was a fucking bear with a black bag and it came and took that rubbish at the beginning of this journey. I'm not having any of that ted. Your head. No. I've had a ham hammer to my head. Yeah, good. All you did was just kill some brain cells. Yeah, but you've not got. I've got loads of brain cells. Mm -hmm. but they multiply. You had good like brain cells, you there. wouldn't be getting lost. You, they say if you hit someone on the head, you kill 10 brain cells, yeah? You, you, you hit me on the head, 10 millions get brought back. Alright, because. You sent us the wrong way. You couldn't even follow me onto the A9000. I had to ride up the wrong way just to fucking come after you. See how dodgy that was. For me. That's because you fucking didn't wait for me at those lights, and those little kids wanted just to stop me. What do you mean at the lights? The fucking light was getting yellow. Yeah, yellow means prepared to stop. Well, chance. <laughs> no chance. We're together. You got to stay together. That's why when I'm going out of junctions, I make sure there's enough space for you, you and to me. You're just riding along. Oh, where's short? Oh, he's fucking all he's, the way over that corner. He's chatting shit. What an idiot. It's the night time as well. You're chatting shit. shit. You're chatting shit. First about my teddy bear coming to collect the rubbish. Now you're saying that I'm fucking terrible. You fucking left it. We're going past it. No, you can't go past it. You have to wait for another year on bigger bikes. And do it at the end because we're doing um, anti clockwise next time. Yeah, it will be like that. Oh, yeah. Isn't it? That bear will come back and be like, oh, I remember you from a couple of years ago. I'll be like, oh, yeah, do you? Yeah, 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 I took that rubbish. Remember, I had that big black bag. Yeah. I walked around the fucking place and you were like, boom, that's no good. Yeah, I know, and then that bear came out. Yeah, I know, see? Yeah, and then the bear came out. There was the fucking bears around here. That bear came out. Alright, it could have been a human. In a costume. I don't know. At the end of the day, no squirrels were hurt in the making of these films. Yeah, but that poor deer you hit was. I didn't hit the deer. I got it on camera, mate. I didn't hit the deer, I literally pulled up to the deer and said hello to it. Hello! Same as that sheep. You know what I would say if I hit it? Oh dear. No, I wouldn't, I'd be really gutted. I don't like animals getting hurt. God, we nearly killed my battery. Raining! Oh, here comes the rain. Let's hope the phone don't break. And we're on one of these bumpy roads. He chatting shit, I tell you. I'm good at it, I reckon. Oh, I did mess up. But that bear did come. And took the rubbish. As I said, no squirrels were hurt in the making of this film. Okay? Oh, here comes the rain. To be fair, a lot of people say stuff about Scottish weather, but it's been quite fair. It's not been bad, do you know what I mean? It's been eventful. Now we gotta hope that I, this uh, GoPro memory lasts as well. I mean, we solved the battery issue, so as long as I keep an eye on it, I nearly lost it. Man, that's so beautiful still. And it was touch and go for Ben with his fuel. But then I don't even know what my fuel gauge would be. So I'm, but I'm definitely going to buy some new clocks for this because I want to see if I can get the upgraded ones and see if they fit. If not, I'll just change the dials over. 
this is why we need to be careful because of the rain meets the road slippery you know there's some slippery edges probably man it's beautiful out here though I'm so chuffed on doing this thank you guys for being so supportive on the channel if it weren't for you literally I probably wouldn't have done this like I thought it would make good content so I hope you guys are enjoying it if you are smash that like button hit that subscribe button if you're new and don't forget to hit that bell so you can be notified for all videos I bring out especially now well, it's been a journey. I've had to spend extra money on a memory card for the GoPro. Look at that. Yum. Just so I don't miss anything. I was like, nah, man. Nah. I need the GoPro for this journey. But what I'm going to do is, just to try and keep some memory, I'm going to turn the GoPro off record now. And when I get to another beautiful spot, you know, I'll just put, keep putting it on and off. Hopefully then we can get some more footage and it'll make it a good bit. Maybe we might pay for a camping site and someone might have a charger port. Or maybe I can get a USB charger port. Charge the laptop off so I can offload these memories. But, yeah. All it's telling me, basically, from this journey with the GoPro is... Villa boy, you need a, a modern GoPro, so he sends it to your phone straight away. So then we can take the laptop, offload it, and when the laptop don't work... Everyone's so friendly! I love it up here! Everyone's so friendly, it's the most friendliest place I've ever been. When you're riding around Northie, and you nod at other bikers. Some will nod. Others will just will totally blank you. Out here everyone's so hype. They won't just nod. They're going to wave. And they wave, wave. Because uh, why not? I mean, what, when you're surrounded by all this, why not? We might catch up with that other 125. There's a 125 Yamaha MT up here. Somewhere. He went past, gave us a wave. Sounded like his bike was struggling. I really want the MT. Oh yeah, no, we're gonna hang on a bit. This is a problem. I think I'm gonna need another two more memory cards. I've got a funny feeling about this. It'd be sick to have on the channel an MT. But yeah. Anyway guys, I'm gonna stop the video. Well, I don't know actually. <laughs> Let's just have a look what's around the corner. I mean, look at that. Bit. clean you guys off on the sort of golf try and keep on top of is keeping you guys to see oh my god look at that green flick look at the green mountain that mountain mate Woo! Mwah! look at it Everywhere else is like brown or rocks. And then you got that one over there. Green as anything. Loving this. Honestly, I'm loving it. It just don't get any better than this, does it? I mean, look at it. We're all enjoying our day, getting it done. Seven o'clock, we're gonna start looking for a place to camp up we really don't want to be doing this at night time for a couple of reasons one for you guys and two for um is these well you've seen the road conditions like big bends and all that like it'd be a bit dangerous to ride at night i mean when we done that mountain last night oh my god could have died so yeah but when you're in this place you want to do it during the daytime anyway because look how beautiful it is just beautiful I don't actually need this map there's enough signs to tell you where to go as long as you be paying attention but you can easily get distracted by all this scenery I mean, 
it is breathtaking. I mean, look at that. It's just absolutely gorgeous. And yet, the best is still yet to come. Like, we still got a lot to do. A lot of miles to cover. I should have got another GoPro in the car. That's all right. I'll find a shot and we'll get one. It's just beautiful. I don't want to stop recording because just how beautiful it is. I have big plans for the video, so I hope you're enjoying them. Move over. Fuck you! Give him the finger. Little asshole. Try pulling me off. Who would have thought I'll be taking Karen on my first holiday with a mate and that it happens to be an actual motorbike holiday with this kind of view? Like, what the heck? Wow! You telling me guys you don't want to try this? You really don't? It's not cold. It may look dark, cold and miserable, it actually ain't. Even with the rain it's not. As long as you're wearing no like, proper gear. And it's spitting, it's not exactly raining. The weather's been actually great. But like I said, the lady in that coffee shop where we had breakfast this morning, she said the best time to come will be May. April, May time. Avoid Easter holidays though. So do it then. I'm telling you, 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 you ain't gonna regret it. Like, I'm lovely and warm. I'm not even joking. Even though we're out like in the coastal line, I'm lovely and warm. I'm in full leathers, all my motorbike gear, you know me. Don't really like to squid. Unless it's only like a little bit down the road. You know, not well, because as you all know, putting motorbike gear on is a chore sometimes. But dress for the slide, not the ride, people. I'm enjoying this trip. I'm loving this. Karen's loving it too. And you hear her popping, guys? Speak to him, girl. Speak to him. She's loving it, she's out here breathing in all this fresh air. She's like, wow. That's what I mean. I ain't missing any views, because I'm here. I'm recording everything as I go along. I get all the views, man. It's funny because some of these roads might be no uh, normal for like a lot of people in Scotland, like, like that mountain road. To us, back from where we're from, you know, in Norfolk, like, we're not used to these types of roads, and I feel absolutely privileged to be riding on them. Scotland, I love you. I even like the people in Scotland, they're nice. And I was born in Scotland, in Dumfries, like, so it just feels like, I don't know, kind of like a home feeling. Like, I know I've never lived here, and I was, but I was born here, like... I, I don't know, it just feels like home. Like, big time home. Yeah, I was thinking the same, it's now coming down heavier. I said, yeah, I was thinking the same. It's coming down heavy, isn't it? We are still going the right way, yeah. Yeah, I know. I just saw that sign saying NC500, and I thought, yeah, I know. I've got the map. Yeah, but we're going to do the whole thing. We're going to find some way to get out of this rain. Because I don't really want to be riding on roads like this in the rain when it's coming down like this. When it's spitting, not too bad, but it's starting to come down a bit heavier now. I don't want to go 
too fast as well. There's, there's, there's like animals and everything. So, slippery webbers. I don't really want to risk it. We pulled over in this little spot. Now you broke your Chinese bike. Well done. Right. Back on the road again. Still raining. It's supposed to be raining for a couple of hours. So get to this next service. Well, I don't even know if it's a service. There's some stuff down the road as you can see on the map. We just got to get there. All over. Hopefully there's a shop or something. Get some food for tonight. And then see what happens. Wow. Look at those sights. Alright, I think I'm just going to cut it here guys, because of the rain. Because it might just block you from seeing everything. And it's only just down the road we've got to go to the service, so... Yeah. I'll catch it when we get to the service. Do not feel safe. We pulled over to a shop. Now we're trying to find somewhere to pitch. This, this is just terrible. The rain is horrible. Road conditions. Oh, nuts. Up here, love these mountain roads. Eh? <laughs> these are some roads here. I wish I could race them, but it's too wet out for that kind of shenanigans. It's sketchy as it is, even when it's dry, but when it's wet out like this, yeah, no chance. Really out in all the elements now. So we took the NC500 on. With cloudy weather, with a bit of wind, chills, and now the rain. What's next? Snow? Thunderstorm? I'm not going to do this all by myself, but I'm glad he came along enjoying itself. It is stressful at times. But it's our first ever journey on a bike. It's our first ever motorbike holiday. So it's going to be stressful. But we're going to get there. We've had some funny times on and off camera. But that's what it's all about. I mean, I could have done this all by myself, like I say. But then I wouldn't have had a laugh with my mate. Like, I would have still been able to do all this and have a laugh with you guys and really take it in. I guess if I was doing it by myself, I guess I would have been here a bit quicker because I wouldn't mind just keep riding, to be honest with you. But, as I say, I wouldn't have had more, as much fun as I have. If it hadn't been for Ben, aka Jim. I wish I could have took all my mates with me. That would have been cool. Everyone coming. That is the NC500 motorbike pose there. <laughs> when you got a numb bump. Beautiful. 
Is this camp tonight, is it? What? Is this camp, is it? <laughs> what? No, you have got the house over there. Oh, I had to check. Never know what you plan to do half the time. Let me offload this bag. Now we have a little wander. Huh? Yeah, I need a piss. You never know, you might have brightened them day. You might have brightened their day. Seeing that caterpillar. I'll have to get my dragon out. Wow, look at this, guys. Just look at all this. So beautiful out here. Wow. Jim. Yeah, man. Beautiful. Back on the road again. Look at that, guys. <laughs> Little tube. Wow. Look at that beach. Imagine taking your dogs or a run on that. Wow. Up the mountains we go. Careful around here with the sheep. I don't even see a sign saying sheep. It's just beautiful. Look at all of it. It's just beautiful scenery everywhere. So I mean there's plenty of places that someone could walk their dog, get out for an adventure. If you've got more money and you want to pay to go history stuff and all these other things they do down here, then why not? I'm here for the scenery. You know what I mean? If I was in a car I'd probably do all the other stuff. Checking to see if he's alright and he puts his finger up at me. <laughs> ben! Get him back.
Ben! You wouldn't be laughing if you owe me a new axle. Fuck the front brake. Lies. Lies. You always lie. You and Ash are the liars. Oh, sheep. Oh, sheep. Meh. I wanted a few picture. What views, what number is this? I don't know. I haven't been on the map. Oh, fucking pedo. Them roads are dodgy, man. They're I great. I really like it when they're wet. Yeah, that's why I've been going slow. Be so careful around here, especially when it's wet out like this. Nearly lost it. So slippery. Oh, that was a tight one. The road's so slippery, that's the problem. I'm slipping. <laughs> I'm not even over exaggerating when I say this road's slippery. It's so slippery! <laughs> Did you go down? <laughs> Did you go down? <laughs> oh. I heard you, but I couldn't oh, check because of that no, corner. No, no. Oh, I was going to go straight. <laughs> that was tight and slippery. That was funny. That was great. At least he didn't go down. He went up the bank, though. <laughs> he went up the bank. Oh, come on, camera, baby. I think it's one mistake around here and you're fucked aren't you? Well you're not really, but you'll be hurt. Might be needing to fix your body.
good. Even though it's raining, I'm having a buzz. I just see thunder. Views around here. It's absolutely beautiful out here. Just wish the weather was better. Holy moly! Look at that! Wow! That is beautiful! You want a picture? Let's go then. Didn't know if you want a picture off the bridge, that's all. Picture on the camera. <laughs> I always get a picture. We're not that far off from the petrol station now. He burnt all the blue roll we had for, to use yesterday just to keep warm, which weren't even that cold last night. It's only until like early hours in the morning it started getting freezing. I'll tell you what, this memory card's holding up pretty well. But I'm definitely going to be ordering myself some more memory cards. A new GoPro. Yeah. Give you guys the, a better vision. Karen, we are hosting.